So when we were filming this, we are just filming this for ourselves, not for a YouTube video. But when we got home, we were like, let's edit this together. So thanks for coming along to watch our one week in Iceland and hope you enjoy. Iceland's water, you can drink from the faucet. And if you see over there, it's like a faucet. So we just are trying it for the first time. Give me an aquafina. <laughs> sure. Good? It's not good, but. It's good. Uh. Right, that's what it is. Oh. Alright, so we're walking over to the Blue Lagoon now. <sighs> it's kinda cold. They're doing a lot of construction. A lot, a lot of construction. Ann likes to run. For whatever reason, she likes to run all the time. But, but yeah. Going to Lagoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was warm. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my hair's off? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, it's warm. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> so at Sky Lagoon you have seven steps that you go through and the first step is a cold plunge but it's like really 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 cold so we attempted to go in there but as you see we only got like one toe in before we had to hop out and other people also weren't able to survive during that but we ended up trying again later that we'll see Cold plunge. I skipped step one of the seven steps They're tingling, yeah. So tingling. <laughs> we did it. Good job, honey. Thanks. How many hours has it been to travel? Just back from Sky Lagoon. You left at like, what, 2 30? We left at 2 30. It's 4 30. And we're still not today. One more bus. 
four, four minutes. It's only five stops. And then it's a five minute walk and we're there. I think we're in downtown right here. Yeah, pretty. Don't quote me. But it's um, a lot more touristy over here, I feel like. So we're getting, mm -hmm. we're, we're almost there. Yeah. Ashton fell asleep on the bus. His head was like this. <laughs> but he looks alert now. I was actually falling asleep too, and I was like, both of us can't fall asleep. I had to be the adult. Mm -hmm. I don't like being the adult. We know. Right. That's it. 5.04. We have made it to the Airbnb. We left Sky Lagoon at 2.30. 2.5 hours to get to the Airbnb. But it's fine. We made it. We're going to go get pizza because I'm starving. It's a five minute walk up the street. And we're supposed to be going out later for dinner. But we're going to get enough pizza now that we can eat later for dinner in case we crash. Because we had a red eye flight last night and are probably going to crash as soon as we sit down. So we're not changing. We're keeping our clothes on. We're just going to get pizza real quick. But if you don't see us again tonight, you know why. But fishing in the morning. Pew, 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 pew. Look at this landscape. The camera does not do this justice at all. Man. That's pretty sweet. Where are we? Kaitsan. Kaitsan. Come back to your Frank? Yep. And... Let's see what we So we slept in 8 o'clock, 7.45 we woke up. That's really good. Handy dandy sleep mess. Out like a light. We ended up going to sleep a little after 1. Mm -hmm. We weren't tired at all. We literally could not go to sleep. But then we slept. I thought we were going to... Sleep the sleep mess going to sleep. Yeah, I wow. thought we were going to... I, I thought we were going to be up at like 4. Day 2. Take it on Iceland. All right, so we went fishing with the company. I can't forget their name, but I'll put it on the screen. And this honestly was like our favorite experience of the whole trip, even though it was literally on day one. Um, we fished for Atlantic Cod. The boat was super rocky and it was like super windy and cold, but we survived. Um, and you had to do this really weird fishing where you had to always be like reeling it up. It was kind of a lot of work. My arms were really tired. Ashton caught a bunch of fish. I did not catch so many. But the favorite part and literally why I booked them was because they make the fish fresh on the boat with this potato salad that was sent straight from jesus himself it was so good we literally devoured this whole pan me and the rest of the people that were on the boat and like i said this is my favorite experience of the whole time it was the captain and his brother are like the people that do it and they make the fish and everything so 10 out of 10 highly recommend and i want to go back just for this fish all right so let's go back from fishing that's a fresh fish. And boy, boy, you put that fish, it was so good. You vlogged it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And there's a clip so here. Good. That fish is great. But we're back, maybe back to land. Another deck hand and the captain was so nice. The brothers. It was great. And they're really, they're wet and we're way cold now. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting kind of cold and chilly. You're wet. Yeah, I am wet. All right, five minute walk to the first All right, let's see. All right, we just came from bonus. 10 20. The piggy, which is called bonus. Uh, so we got a bag of fish. It's a 
some Icelandic shit carrying a bag of fish. Alright. This is our catches for the day. Anna's behind the camera now. Ashton's sleepy, grumpy. We just took a four hour nap and he's he's coming back from that. Potatoes, corn, and I forgot what else. Alrighty. He is cleaning the meats. Two of the three fish are filleted. One more. And I am on potato dewy. All right, Chef International Chef Ashton. Ooh, look at that sizzle! Bon appetit, International Chef. Taking on Iceland. Yep. Woke up. Had a rough start. Yeah, she was tired. Then it was like 2 a.m. Because it's it's bright as fuck outside. Mind you, back home for context, we're in bed by 8. So I had to wake up at 7. I wake up at 7 for this whale washing tour. So if I don't see a whale this morning, I'm beating everybody's ass. Beat them up. see a mural Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers mural and then hot dogs hot dogs fish chips and maybe go out to a club don't know about that one we're not clevers but now we wait for the bus to go a eight minute walk yeah it's literally around the block but it's raining yeah My feet hurt. yeah so I'm going to sit here and get wet and Exactly. We are at the famous hot dog spot. I can't pronounce it. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. Come with me. Oh, earlier we were over here. And the line was... Right around way down here. 50 people deep. like right around here. 50 people deep. That was only three. Bush neck shop, push neck shop. BBL Drizzy, that's all you know. BBP. It's a lot of sauce on this hot dog. And Anna's scared. I don't like sauce. So you can try it first bite. Sauce. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. The puffins. This is so cute. Styling and profiling. Made it to bed. You're good. On the we gotta try the rye bread ice cream. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks too big. Alright, day. Cheese and 
Don't do day three or day four. Uh, yep. Yeah. This Thursday, is day Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We were officially at the halfway point. Halfway point of the trip. We are now waiting for the bus to get some breakfast. Then we'll get our rental car to go down to the south coast. Well, and this wind today is it's a wind advisor out. It's blowing. So, yeah. This should be fun. We're going to Cafe Babadoo. Yeah. Well, I'm getting grilled cheese and tomato soup, my favorite. I don't know, I'm getting, I ain't looking at you. Um, we're finally getting a car. I mapped out our whole trip on Google Maps. Shout out Google Maps. Shout out Google, shout out Google Maps. Whoever made Google Maps, eat your ass eat. And there I was, making Google Maps. Plot it out. All right, and the sun. Look the sun's the sun. out. Yeah, the, sun, the sun's kind of out. Oh. And it's not raining. The sun's out and it's not raining. It's gonna be a good day. It's a good day. Dun, dun. Yeah. So, it should be fun. We are at Cafe Babalu. Babalu? Babalu? Very quirky. Order the gold cheese and tomato soup combo. And wait for it to come up. We have a bus to catch in 20 minutes. 20 minutes left. I got a cookie. Ashton got a big cookie. A bus to catch in 27 minutes. Well, we have five minute walk for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. To go get our car. Got grilled cheese and tomato soup. All right, we're heading out the city, going to the south coast. So it should get real interesting to see a lot of like natural waterfalls and I don't know what you see on there. Waterfalls, <laughs> caves, <laughs> caves, beaches, beaches, Old Black Sand Beach, Diamond Beach, lagoons, like, lagoons, glaciers, glaciers. I feel like it'd be fun. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm super excited. This is the second half of our trip. This is where we take the car. We'll show you the car oh, in two it's, seconds. It's somewhere. We Can just picked it up. It. Funny enough, our car rental place is only four minute drive from our apartment. I'm not playing at all. Right. Um, but I'm excited. The city was great. I like Reykjavik. Yeah, it's really nice. I think definitely I'll come back. Uh, but I'm excited to get into the actual nature part of it and see the actual what Iceland's known for. The fucking falls and shit. The stuff, I'm sorry. Iceland's known for. Yeah, we just demonetized. The falls and shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's a yellow. Did we say about the warning already? Oh, the, the wind warning is mm -hmm. a wind. Is yellow. The whole country is on yellow right now. It's like a wind, rain, snow warning. It's fucking June. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we'll stay safe. Car tour. All right, next stop. I would say it's um the waterfall says the falls. But it's actually um, the gas station. The gas station. There's one hour and a half. Always have to stop at every gas station you see. There's no gas anywhere. We are 30 minutes, maybe not 30, 20 minutes into our drive. It's so pretty out here.
made it to Slafnir Yashi Floss. I got food. That smells good. Soja Boy Falls. We made it to Soja Boy Falls. Hey, slippery. Anything you want to say to camera, Anna? There we go. One style step for man. Two style steps for mankind. You can't even see it. <laughs> there you go. No, medium. I think we got good gear on. Allegedly, we're gonna see echo wet. Man. Oh. Let's say I'm recording if you fall, cameraman never die. My feet get wet. We just went to the water park. My shoes, my feet, so. Yeah. Man. I think it got inside. Like, I think so too, mine too. Inside. Yeah, we were basically in the water. <laughs> oh gosh, that yeah. was so fun. Oh, that was fun. What is that up there? Hot spring? That was so much fun. No, that was fun. You can't say that wasn't fun. Wasn't that fun? the word fun to describe that experience in my life Wait. I think I would use the word once in a lifetime experience as if I'm never doing that shit again <laughs> that's a better word once in a lifetime not fun mm -hmm. I can't feel my fingers can't feel my toes I can't see anything uh huh yeah but we did it we did it fist bump Toosh. Oh, that's cool right here. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I thought this led to the <laughs> to the fall. <laughs> Time. That was so much fun. Yeah. She didn't have a blast. I had a blast. He said that I did. He asked me, he was like, recording me doing this. And he was gone forever. And I was just like standing there getting soaked. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure he was having fun while I was recording him having a blast. Huh? And I was standing there picking up trauma. Oh, yeah, and so all these new people had came in and they were trying to get by. And I was like, mm. uh huh. It's been a while. It's been a while. Anna left her shoes to the last place, so we had to go back for an hour out of the way to get her shoes back. Probably can't even hear me. Now you probably hear me better. Alright, but now we're at, where are we at now? Uh, 
Go see in a second. I forgot. So, uh, so, 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 It's the big one. <laughs> we hit the big waterfall. And you can kind of see right there. And this long behind stairwell leads you to like all of seven them. other falls behind it. Well, yes. Yeah, so, we're going to go down here, take a couple pictures down here, and then go all, all the way up the stairs. Allegedly. Allegedly. So. And we look all bundled up now. Because we're wet and cold from the, the last previous walls. rendezvous. So we're really, really cold. It's not that cold out here. We're just really wet. So yeah. that's why we're like really bummed. I mean, the wind is kind of strong. It's not as right now. It's not bad. But yes. You guys see all those stairs? Who said it was like day? <laughs> that's a lot of stairs. I know the camera probably not doing it justice. That's like at least 100, I'll count 200 the stairs. stairs. Okay, you want to count the stairs? But all right, catch y'all in a second. So pretty. The sun is coming out. It's across that way. Go down. Ooh. Watch step now. Wow. Well. I still got a couple of ways to go. There's no one coming up anymore. No one coming for us. So. Come on, man. Come on. Can't give up. Ready? I'm not giving up. I'm taking a break. Okay. We got some, we got some more to go. Huh. Look at y'all. See how steep these stairs is. What? I was showing the camera how steep these stairs was. We got it. Let's go. Ready? Uh -huh. This is the final countdown. Made it. This is actually insane. We had met this guy this morning at the bus stop and he didn't know how to like navigate the bus stops. Not that we did much more either. But he said he was with a big group of friends and he was sick or he had this whole story and it sounded so scamish. Um, but we ended up buying his bus ticket. Funny enough, hours later, we find him at or find him, run into him at the this waterfall and we see all his friends. So he was legit. I don't know the coincidence of that, but that was funny. Are you <laughs> No, I didn't. Oh, my legs. Oh my god, that's crazy. I think I'm, I'm scared. That's scary. Walk on the, this path. Please see your Come on. Oh man. That's a lot. Yeah, it's wind so strong. But yeah, it's a big old hiccup. You didn't look that bad from the car, but man, when you get up here, it's horrible. Especially with this wind. Alright, I'm gonna stay up there. So I don't know what this one was called, but the wind was so insane out here that like people literally wouldn't let other people like people weren't even taking pictures or letting people take pictures of them because like you felt like you're going to fall off this cliff. But this one was really pretty, but we were really tired and ready to go by this point because like I said, you were like having to fight the wind walking and it was like pretty miserable. But remember, oh, these are those three that are behind. There's like seven or eight waterfalls behind Skogafoss. So if you keep going, you see more. But we have walked like a mile i don't know don't quote me on that uh to see these three but we retired at this point but there's like way more that you can see beyond and then we got caught in an ice storm while we were up there and ice started falling from the sky and got all in my hair and everywhere else and it actually really hurt it's 10 p.m at night you see how bright it is it's super windy 
It's super late. I'm super tired. But Black Sand Beach was cool. I really, really, really want to take a pebble. But they said don't take any pebbles. So I was trying not to destroy the environment. But Black Sand Beach was cool. And it was really empty also because it was 10 p.m. at night. cottage tour coming very soon oh it's so adorable this is cute I guess we'll be in touch with nature. Oh, look, it's just a little cottage, a little bed. This is cute. A half the room, <laughs> and a, a quarter kitchen. <laughs> and a half kitchen, a quarter kitchen. And a little, look, and look, you got a little a thing. A patio. A patio. It looks like the one from um, Cow Courage of Cow's Dog. Okay. I might have a puppy just come visit us in the morning. This is crazy. This wow. is very Icelandic. This is very Icelandic. I know we don't have a TV, and I know we're 15 minutes from the nearest food spot, but, but, there's good in this. Mm-hmm. This is the good in this. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? 
That's pretty cool, actually. That's cute. I don't know what we're gonna do, but All it's right. cute. But they have, I don't know, they have like cows and stuff. We can just go walk around and look at their cows. Yeah, I'm fucking, okay. I'm freaking freezing right now. All right, we gotta go TV screen. Well, people, I gotta pee. We gotta get something hard. We gotta sleep. See you. Is there anything different? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ashton braided my hair. Hair has been a big point of insecurity since I got here. My hair has been. What's another word for fucked? Screwed up. Fucked up since the first day we got here. When we got the Sky Lagoon, my hair. It was because it's raining. It's raining all day, every day. And it's just been messing up my hair. So I've hated how my hair looks every day. But it was okay because. I was looking busted every day because we're in Iceland anyways. Like, you're not getting dressed up or anything. I just put a beanie on social. But this morning, I was like, can you do braids in my hair? So now I'm a Viking. I have Viking hair now. Here are the morning views. Oh, afternoon views. Sorry, I left. It's like 1 o'clock. We woke up around 10. Um, now we're finally getting to almost to go on our stops today. We're hitting Diamond Beach today and um, the Glacier Lagoon and a couple things on the way there. I forgot about. I forgot the name of the word. Uh, first, we should probably find food. Yeah, we need really anything. It's 7 o'clock on a dot. I'm in my drop top. Oh, you did the same thing. Because it's like dance. All right. Day four? Five? It's Monday or it's Tuesday? I don't know what day. Monday. I don't know what day it is. Yeah, it's Monday. It's Monday. All right, cool. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fifth. Dang, isn't it Friday? That's what you do is we have three days in the city. People are like, y'all still ain't back yet? Nah, we're we just getting started out in the country. All right, going on day five adventures. She fun. She's a lot of like glaciers, Diamond Beach, maybe natural hot spring. Food? Food, yes. We haven't ate yet, and it's 1 o'clock. 1.30. 1.32, actually, to be exact. All the closest stuff is like all like sit down like upscale restaurants. Yeah. I don't really want to eat that, but no, we'll figure it out. Yeah, figure it out. Alright. up with y'all soon. I need my hot dog. No, I don't hot dogs, bus. That might be one of the. It might be some gas station out there. Alright. Catch up with y'all later. To glaciers, well, some of the glaciers. Just tired. I've been driving for six hours hard every. Say she's sick. Her throat is swelling. Alright, there are some melted glaciers off the glacier. It's a whole one big one giant glacier. This whole piece of million year old glacier. Oh no, it broke apart. Dense. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. I got a piece of glacier. It's a piece of glacier. It is melting so quickly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got Anna driving now. Focus on the road. We already got passed by one car already. Bro, one car already. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Black. No, Diamond, Diamond Beach. I thought we had a. Oh, that was a glacier. Yeah, that's next. After that one, right though, right? They're right next to each other, though. Oh. Bridge are right next to each other, but now. Yeah. So back out to the middle of nowhere. That nothing missed till we hit the next Tawaii city. See you then. Go round and round, round and round.
round, round and round. I hit the guy, he's gonna That's why it's so strong. And it starts to snow a little bit. Ugh. The wind was so insane, it was like impossible to walk through. Like, all you see is people like falling over and walking. But I do want to say that doing Golden Circle last was very underwhelming after seeing all like the waterfalls on the south coast. Gold Foss was pretty, but underwhelming. The guys are super underwhelming. So, I recommend not personally, don't do any of those like Golden Circle tours that cost like a hundred dollars or something like that. If you have a car, just go see it yourself. It takes five minutes and it's pretty underwhelming and I would be mad if I had to pay for a tour for it. So this is post geyser. This wind is so strong, people are just blowing over. The cars are shaking. Um, there's like a whoosh. All right, cool, let's go. But yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't all that cool. It's like, all right, cool, we've seen it. But yeah, wouldn't pay for it. Let's rent a car. Best way to do it. All right, on to the next one. Yeah, I'm snorkeling, got a dry suits. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I am, and it's snowing. Yeah, like we knew it was. So we just got back from, not diving, snorkeling between two tectonic plates. The Euro-Asian and the uh, North America plate. Yeah. And how was it? I can say I not only snorkeled on Iceland, I can say I not only snorkeled on two tectonic plates, but I can also say I snorkeled in the snow. In an ice storm. In an ice storm. It's over. I would never do that again in my life. I thought I was going to die the entire time. Yeah. And then... When I thought I was dead, he was like, oh, it's over. And I was like, thank baby Jesus. That was good fun. I had a great time. It was so pretty. At least you have to video. I always knew this day would come. We'll be standing one by one. With a few shirt ideas. Today, we're going to Blue Lagoon. A flight's not till 5 o'clock, so we take like a whole day or so. So we have a blue girl appointment, appointment, appointment at 11. 
We have our bathing suits on. Um, we stayed there for a couple hours. Then we dropped our car off by three. Flight boards at four. I said it was cool. But we still, we still got a day. I'm not ending this. This is not over. Last the volcano over there. We gotta go to like the police checkpoint to get back in here. Say, drive straight to the lagoon. Do not stop. Do not pass go. <laughs> Basically, he said, do not stop. Just drive straight. Do not get in the car. Uh, but I guess that's the volcano going off. Next stop, the lagoon. Or volcano. Okay, super windy here, so I'll talk here. But I would say Sky Lagoon was a lot better than Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon was cool. Um, and it's close to the airport, so that's like a good thing to stop by on that wave from the airport. But I like the Sky Lagoon seven step thing. Blue Lagoon's like face cream that you'll see in a second, like felt weird on my face. I did not care for it. But overall, I just liked Sky Lagoon a lot better. And I think Sky Lagoon's 18 plus, so like there was no kids. Ashton, what are your thoughts? Yeah, Sky Lagoon's so much better. Yeah, it's just like blue goon felt dirty on the bottom. Yeah, thank you for reminding me about that. A lot it just more felt crowded. Dirty. Crowded and dirty. Yeah. The ground was like like algae. Yeah, like, it was like or algae on, on the, the bottom. Sky Lagoon was clear water, you could actually see through the water. Yeah, it wasn't blue water, but it was clear. Which I feel like is better. It made it feel cleaner. A lot more like intimate vibes. Yes. Alright, this is the end of the video. Uh we actually didn't film my outro, but I'm gonna use these stoplights as the outro because it's really cool. It goes like yellow green but anyways iceland was super fun i'm already planning my trip back 10 out of 10 recommend let us know if you have any questions or want to see anything super specific thanks for watching